the FDA. Martin? Well, you know, Hal, anyone who has chronic back pain can tell you it is no fun, and treatment can range from bed rest to major surgery with no guarantee of long-term relief. But for at least some people, there's new technology that could spell the end of debilitating back pain. My pain was to the level where I, I really couldn't walk uh, 10 feet, let's say, without being in, in terrible pain. Janie Stafford suffered for 13 years with severe chronic back pain before meeting Dr. Rick Delamarter at UCLA. He determined Janie to be an excellent candidate for a new technique in back surgery. The new procedure involves placement of a small titanium cage uh, into the degenerative disc. And this allows the anatomy to be restored to its normal height, as well as a solid fusion, so there's no more pain to be generated by that degenerative disc. An incision is made in the abdomen and the spine approached from the front. A small amount of the patient's hip bone is taken and packed into the cages so fusion can take place. This is an x-ray of Jamie's back before surgery. You can see the area where the disc is degenerated. Here's the post-operative x-ray showing the titanium cage has been placed in that disc space and it has restored the anatomy to its normal height. This height now, where it used to be collapsed and bone on bone, is of normal height. And this cage gives us extreme rigidity so there's no motion. And the bone forms between these holes and forms a solid fusion between those two bones. For Jamie, the results of surgery were nothing short oh, of miraculous. I immediately felt relief. I had really virtually no back pain right, right then and there. I had really given up a lot of things. Um, I was pretty active, you know, snow skiing, water skiing, all kinds of things that I really had no hope of ever doing again. So now at least, I mean, eight months into this feeling really terrific, and feeling that um, I have a chance to do all those things again. But Dr. Delamarter cautions only about 5% of patients are good candidates for this type of fusion surgery, and careful evaluation is critically important. As remarkable as this procedure is, Dr. Delamarter says another innovation on the horizon will completely revolutionize the way we think about spine surgery. It's about two years down the road. It's called bone morphogenic protein, and it will stimulate rapid bone growth, replacing the need to take the patient's own bone. I think in the future, maybe within the next two to three years, we will be putting in these cages, and then we will be able to squirt the contents or the inside of the cage with the bone morphogenic proteins, and uh, we're hoping this will stimulate tremendous fusion mass very rapidly. Uh, this will revolutionize the way uh, we do spine surgery. Dr. Delamarter did stress again that this surgery is not appropriate for everyone. He describes the ideal candidate as one who has failed in all the conservative treatments, such as physical therapy. But he says when it's done on the right patient, the results can be outstanding. Jamie was back at work in two weeks, and although this procedure right now has only been approved for use in the lumbar area of the back, they should be able to do cervical spine or neck surgery fusion that way very, very soon. Okay, Rana, thanks for that report. Uh,